Welcome back, Future Medicos. KEA has released the round three provisional results for Karnataka State Counseling. In this video, we are going to look at the cutoff marks for the open category, right? The open category that comes under the private seats where the other state candidates are eligible. So we are going to look at what is the cutoff in various colleges under the open category. We are going to look at the private colleges as well as we are going to look at the private universities. So we will see the comparison between round one, round two and round three and see what is the cutoff for various colleges. So as I told you, we will see the round one All India rank as well as the score, round two All India rank and score and round three provisional results. This is not the final results. This is the provisional results. Subsequently, Karnataka will release a round three final results. But as of now, let's look at what is the provisional results. First, let's start with the private colleges open category where the fee structure is 12 lakhs per year except St. John's. St. John's is slightly lesser. All the other colleges are approximately 12 lakhs per year. So there are five colleges, five private colleges where there are no seat allotment in round three. That means there are no vacancies basically. Father Muller, St. John's Medical College, Navodaya, Vaidehi and BGS Global Institute. These five colleges, there are no allotment in round three provisional, which means there are no actual vacancies as well as there are no candidates who have upgraded from this college to some other college, right? So there are five colleges where there is no allotment in round three provisional. Now below this, we will see the colleges where there are allotments. Kempa Gowda, this is the college with the highest cutoff in round three provisional. In uh, round one, it closed at 524. Round 2, it came down to 511, whereas in round 3, again, it went up to 518 marks, an increase of about 7 marks. You can see on the right-hand side, I've given whether the cutoff has increased or decreased. I have shown green arrow means the cutoff has increased, red arrow means the cutoff has decreased, and also I have given how many marks it has decreased or increased. So from 511, it has increased to 518 marks for Kem Pagoda. Of course, if you look at most of the private medical colleges, the cutoff has increased in round three provisional results. Dr. B.R. Ambedkar closed at 511 marks, which is an increase of 18 marks from round two. JJM Medical College, 501 marks. AJ Institute, 496. Akash, 492. MVJ Medical College, 491. Shai Manuru Shivashankarappa, 489. Nijalingappa 488, East Point 487 marks. Oxford Medical College 482, Siddhaganga 481, Basaveshwara 476, Al Amin 470. And the first college where the cutoff has decreased slightly is Mahadevappa, where the cutoff has decreased from 473 marks in round two to 470 marks in round three. Just a drop of three marks. SR Patil 465, Subbaya again the cutoff has decreased by one mark to 463, Chamundeshwari 462, Farooq Academy which is a new medical college which was introduced in round two, the cutoff also has gone up by three marks and closed at 461, Sri Devi closed at 459, Kanchur Institute closed at 458 and K Venkatramana Gowda has closed at 453 marks. So KVG Medical College is the college that has the lowest cutoff in round three provisional. So if you look at the overall cutoff, round one closed at 483, round two 458 and round three provisional 453. So a drop of five marks overall for private medical colleges in Karnataka in round three provisional. Of course, in the round three final results, the cutoff may slightly come down. It may be one or two marks. It may still come down. But let's look at the provisional results as of now. Right, these are the private colleges. Now let's look at the private universities. As you all know, there are 10 private universities. We will look at what is the cutoff for the private universities. So once again, there are three private universities where there are no seat allotment in round three provisional. That is MS Ramaya, PES University and Dr. Chandrama Dayananda, which means there are no vacancies as well as there are no upgradation for candidates from this college to some other college. So there are no vacancies in these colleges. So now let's look at the remaining seven private universities. Madhusudan Sai, the cutoff has drastically increased from 390 in round two to 
to 443 in round 3 provisional. Nearly a 53 marks increase in round 3 provisional. SDM Darwad increased to 442 marks. Kaja Bande closed at 440. Adi Chun Chanagiri closed at 428 marks. Again, there is a huge increase in cutoff from 352. It has closed at 428 marks. An increase of about 76 marks for Adi Chun Chanagiri. Then Sabdagiri, the cutoff has decreased to 302 marks. BGS Medical College closed at 299. And Srinivasa Institute has the lowest cutoff for private universities and also has the biggest drop. From 312 marks, it has closed at 256. A drop of about 56 marks in round 3 provisional. Of course, you could see that in round 1, it closed at 477. And round 3 provisional, 256. Nearly more than 200 marks has dropped for Srinivasa. Why? One of the reasons is there is some confusion among candidates because Srinivasa was a private medical college last year and it has converted to private university category this year. So people did not notice the increase in fees. They, did, they were filling choices assuming that Srinivasa is still 12 lakhs fees but actually the fees has increased to I think 22 lakhs per year. So they missed and after the seat allotment, they realized their mistake and then they started exiting the college. So probably that could be the reason it has a very huge cutoff drop from round one to round two and round two to round three. So overall, if you look at round one, 431 was the closing score for private universities. Round two, it closed at 312 and round three, it closed at 256. So if you look at the private colleges, the 12 lakh fees, it closed at 453. Whereas for private universities where the fee structure varies all the way from 16 lakhs to 25 lakhs, it closed at 256 marks. So between private colleges and private universities, there is a difference of almost 200 marks between the two different categories. I hope this information is useful to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.